this video is created by Jagrat Creations. I want to take one basic level sum from a chapter single entry capital comparison method. Now, the sum that I intend to solve, just observe that on the screen. This is the sum that I intend to solve. Shamima Ben keeps the accounts as per single entry system. From the following information, prepare a statement showing the profit or loss for the year ended on 31st of 2017 and the balance sheet as on that date. Now, these are the assets and liabilities details given to you at the beginning of the accounting period. This is the details given to you for the end of the accounting period. On 1 12 2016, she brought personal furniture for 10,000, so opening balance of furniture 20,000, closing balance 30,000, so furniture brought is added to the closing balance. She took away the goods worth 3,000 for personal use, goods of 1,500 were given to orphan, this is considered to be an expense. Her cash drawings were 12,000. Rent for her residential come business premises is 500 per month. One fifth of the building is used for the purpose of business. So 500 is the rent. One fifth identified as business expenses. So 500 into one fifth, 100 is the business expenses. 400 is the personal expenses. Personal expenses are paid out of business funds. So personal expenses per month. So th that will be identified as drawings and that will be considered while preparing a capital comparison statement. A bill received over 3000 was received from customer which was discounted by discounting 180 discount. The posting is made in the cash book but not in customer's account. So bills receivable received from customer. When the bills receivable is received, bills receivable account debit to customer account credit or if I get a return promises from a customer that is identified as bills receivable, the balance of customers, debtors balance decreases and here he has not he has not decreased the debtors balance so while preparing a statement of affairs you are required to reduce the debtors balance to the extent of bill of exchange received this bill is already being discounted so it is encashed so we have to reduce the debtors balance while preparing the statement of affairs over and above you are given here the bank balance as per passbook while preparing a statement of affairs you should consider the bank balance from the trader's viewpoint or in the accounting language the bank balance from the uh, cash book point of view should be considered but here the cash book is not maintained so here the bank balance is to be taken from the viewpoint of the trader so you are required to write the adjustment entry or reconciliation and reconciliation is to be made so this passbook balance will be converted into a balance from the viewpoint of the trader and for that you are given two adjustment check of 2000 was deposited in the bank on 28th of part 2016 and save was credited by the bank on 2nd of April. So this balance as per passbook is 6400. To that you are required to add the check deposited because check deposited is not recorded in the bank passbook. And to find out the balance as from the trader's point of view you are required to add the check deposited to this 6400. Similarly, check of 2400 was issued to a creditor, not presented to the bank in the month of April. So this balance as per passbook 9000 closing balance, that, the, that is other than check issue. That is other than the check issue. So check issued decreases the bank balance, so it should be deducted and the redu reduced balance will appear in the closing statement of affairs. Provide depreciation on furniture, these are the adjustment entry. So all this information will be considered for the purpose of preparing statement of affairs. And after preparing statement of affairs, I'll find out the opening capital and closing capital. By capital comparison, taking into consideration the drawings and additional capital, I will find out the gross profit. And from gross profit, I'll give the effect of this adjustments. See, this, is, this has got influence to the data's balance. This has got the influence with the passbook. Balance of passbook is to be converted. This, is a, this has got an influence to this 9000 balance and these are the adjustments that will be considered after finding out the profit. So these are the adjustments given to you. Now after explaining the sum in this fashion, let me start preparation of opening statement of affairs and closing statement of affairs. 
फर्नीचर ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एसेट साइड स्टॉक आई राइट ऑन द एसेट साइड डेटर्स राइट टू रिसीव मनी फ्रॉम कस्टमर्स एसेट साइड कैश ऑन हैंड एसेट नाउ बैलेंसेस फॉर पासबुक आई राइट इन द इनर कॉलम एंड कंसीडर द एडजस्टमेंट ए चेक ऑफ टू थाउजेंड वॉज डिपोजिटेड इन द बैंक इन द मार्च सिक्सटीन बट वॉज क्रेडिटेड इन अप्रिल सिक्सटीन सो चेक डिपोजिट इन इंक्रीज इज द बैलेंस सो आई विल एड टू थाउजेंड सो द बैलेंस बैंक बैलेंस दैट आई विल राइट फॉर माई स्टेटमेंट ऑफ अफेयर एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड नाउ देन कम्स क्रेडिटर्स लाइबिलिटी साइट अनपेड सैलरी लाइबिलिटी साइट नाउ टोटल ऑफ एसेट माइनस टोटल ऑफ लाइबिलिटी दिस इज द कैपिटल एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द अकाउंटिंग पीरियड टोटल ऑफ एसेट माइनस लाइबिलिटीज डिफरेंस बिटवीन एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज नाउ इन द सेम मैनर आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द कैपिटल एट द क्लोज ऑफ द अकाउंटिंग पीरियड बाय प्रिपेरिंग अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ अफेयर फॉर द एंड ऑफ द इयर फर्नीचर थर्टी थाउजेंड स्टॉक एसेट साइड डेटर्स देर इज एन एडजस्टमेंट आई हैव रिसीव अ बिल्स रिसीवेबल बट नॉट रिकॉर्डेड इन डेटर्स अकाउंट आई एम रिक्वायर टू रिड्यूस द बैलेंस ऑफ डेटर्स बाय थ्री थाउजेंड सो बिल्स रिसीवेबल एंड कैश सो रिकवर सो अमाउंट इज ऑलरेडी रिकवर्ड फॉर दिस डेटर्स बट दे आर नॉट डिडक्टेड फ्रॉम डेटर्स सो थर्टी थाउजेंड माइनस थ्री थाउजेंड बिल रिसीवेबल रिसीव इज डिडक्टेड थर्टी थाउजेंड द बैलेंस That will appear in the closing statement of affairs. Then comes cash on hand. From this balance as per pass book, it has to be converted into a balance from the viewpoint of the traders by taking into consideration the check issued but not presented for payment will be deducted. So two thousand four hundred that reduces the balance. So six thousand six hundred will appear in the statement of affairs. Then comes creditors and insurance premium prepaid insurance. Now total of assets minus total of liabilities. This is my closing capital. Now I'll prepare a capital comparison statement in light of this formula. Opening capital plus additional capital means total capital minus drawings means capital withdrawn. That should be the capital at the end of the year. But the capital at the end of the year is not found in this fashion because profit gets added to the capital. So you are required to add profit to that capital. So, what is the formula to get the closing capital? Opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings means withdrawal of capital plus profit is equal to closing capital. So, this is a normal formula. Now, in this formula, I want to make profit as a subject of equation. So, closing capital plus drawings minus additional capital and opening capital that I write in in a statement. The formula is written in a statement. Closing capital plus drawings minus additional capital. And opening capital, I'll get the gross profit. From this gross profit, I will give the effect of adjustments given to me, that is depreciation, etc. And I'll find out the net profit, and in light of that, I'll prepare the balance sheet. So I write closing capital ninety-eight thousand two hundred. This is the opening capital. Now personal furniture brought, so additional capital brought ten thousand. That is to be deducted to find out the profit. Took the goods worth three thousand. Goods withdrawn, so it is drawings, personal drawings, twelve thousand cash drawings. Over and above, important adjustment is of rent. The rent for the residential come business premises five hundred. One fifth is a business expense, so four fifth is a personal expense paid out of business funds. So. Five hundred minus one fifth for business, four hundred for personal use, multiplied by twelve, four thousand eight hundred. Personal expenses paid out of business fund, so it's a drawings. So that is treated as drawings. Rent paid out of business profit. Now, these are the total drawings, closing capital plus drawings, minus opening capital and additional capital. I get the cross profit. From this gross profit, I am required to give the effect of adjustments. So now I prepare the balance sheet in light of this adjustment. See, provide depreciation on furniture at twelve percent. On one twelve two thousand sixteen, she brought the personal furniture ten thousand. So opening balance twenty thousand, additional furniture ten thousand. On additional furniture, the depreciation will be calculated from one twelve two thousand sixteen. To 31st of March 2017, four months depreciation will be calculated. 
So here I prepare balance sheet, opening balance of furniture plus addition total thirty thousand. On twenty thousand, I will calculate depreciation for the whole year. And on additional capital, additional furniture brought by way of capital, on that I will calculate depreciation for four months. So this is a total depreciation two thousand eight hundred deducted from furniture balance. So this is the balance of furniture after adjustment. So this furniture is taken into consideration after adjustment depreciation, and by depreciation your profit declines. So adjustment less depreciation on furniture will be deducted from forty one thousand eight hundred. Now bed date reserve is to be provided at five percent. Data is thirty thousand. Five percent bed date is of fifteen hundred. It's a provision for loss on account of bed debts. Bad debt is a loss. Non-recovery from the customer is identified as a loss known as bad debts, and for that the provision is made fifteen hundred. So it is a provision for the losses. It reduces the profit, so gross profit will go down, and debtor's balance, recoverable balance, appear in the balance sheet less by fifteen hundred. So twenty eight thousand five hundred is identified as the recoverable balance from customers. Now calculate interest at twelve percent. On this opening balance, the interest will be calculated for the whole year, and the additional capital brought by way of furniture on which the interest will be granted for four months. So opening capital, this is additional capital. On opening capital, twelve percent for the whole year. On additional capital, the interest will be calculated for four months. Ten thousand into twelve percent for four months. So this is a total interest on capital paid out of profits so from profit is deducted and added to the capital. Now, after the adjustment reduces the profit by twelve thousand six hundred and forty-four. So this is the profit after adjustment. This profit is added to the capital. Now, from this balance sheet, furniture, debtors, capital are recorded. Still, are not deducted drawings therefrom. So. Drawings are deducted, cash, goods, and rent. Total drawings are deducted. So this is the capital balance in my closing balance sheet. So capital, furniture, and debtors are recorded here. What are the other items of this balance sheet? Trade statement of efforts. They are to be copied as it is in this balance sheet. So now, copy the remaining balances from this closing statement of efforts. That's a very important point to be understood. Now, creditors, stock as it is. Cash on hand as it is, bank balance six thousand six hundred as it is, prepaid insurance as it is. Now have a total of the balance sheet. It should agree on both the sides. One leg eight thousand nine hundred, one leg eight thousand nine hundred. So this is how I have prepared a balance sheet on the basis of closing statement of affairs. But the effect of adjustment is given to the balance is given in the closing statement of affairs, and this balance sheet wherein the profit is calculated after giving adjustment. And the profit after adjustment is added to the capital. This is how the balance sheet at the end of the accounting period is prepared. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.